hello and welcome back to mr fusion 360 and in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can design this drone propeller using autodesk fusion 360 so let's get started so let's start by creating a sketch on the right plane first i will make a line First, I will make a line which would be 7.5 mm long and the angle of it would be 45 degree. Now, after this, I will go to slot. 3 point arc slot this value would be 0.75 mm now finish sketch now create a offset plane at a distance of 20 millimeters Create sketch on this. Now make a line like this. Now we will dimension dimension it. The length of this would be one fifteen mm. And the angle would be 20 m 20 degrees in d4 dimension select this point and this point and give it a vertical distance of 1.5 mm now select this point and this point and give give a horizontal dimension of 7.5 mm now go to slot select center to center slot like this point and this point and give it a value of 0.5 mm now finish sketch now again create an offset plane at a distance of 80 millimeters now select this plane and create sketch on it now make a line from this point to this point of a distance 6 millimeters now create center to center slot and give it a distance of 0.2 mm now finish sketch now again create sketch on the front plane enable the 3d sketch option from the sketch palette select fit point spline and select this point this point make sure it is the center of each slot do same on the uh, another side Now finish sketch. Now go to create. Go to loft. And select this profile. And make sure the tangent, tangent edges is not merge. It is keep. Now select this profile. Then the third one. Now select the guide rails 
as the splines we made. Hit OK. Here is our one blade ready. Now go to uh, top view. Create sketch on it. Disable the 3D sketch option. And make a circle of 0.5 mm. Uh, make a circle of 5 mm and another one of twelve point five mm. Now extrude this. Keep the direction as two sides. The upper direction would be of seven point five mm. and the downward direction would be 2.5 mm and make sure the operation is new body now we have to move the blade so hit M for move select the circle then select the blade then deselect the circle and add a value of 2.5 mm now go to create go to circular pattern Select bodies, select the axis. If you want the quantity to be 3, you can have, but for now, I'm adding it, it to a quantity of 2. Hit OK. Now we'll add, add fillet. Let's F for fillet. You can have fillet as you want. I'm having for just 0.5 mm. Now go to combine, select the target body, select the tool bodies, and make sure the operation is joined. To add a little bit of beautification, you can make Profiles like this and use the split face command to have that beautification. Go to just bottom plane, tell for line, make a random sketch. Repeat the same on the other side. sketch now go to modify Sp select split face command select faces to split select splitting tool as the sketch do the same for every Now go to appearance and add appearance as you wish. For now I'm adding chrome black.
and also white white abs i'll select the faces and add the color so please do subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to like if you like this video yeah